Halloween is Monday. Hooray! Okay. What is up, nerds? My name is Travis, and this is Wonder Nerd. Yes, I am back from a much-needed vacation in Mexico. I got a hat. But now that I'm back, I will be continuing my Halloween-themed episodes. But before we get started, I want to say a few things. Number one, my adorable little brother Jojo has his own channel on this very site. I am going to link his channel below so you can go and subscribe to him. Number two, my buddy Eric is writing a musical and you should go to subscribe to his channel as well, which will also be in the description. And number three, I have started a Facebook page for Wonder Nerd. So you can go down into the description again and go ahead and like that page. I'll be uploading these videos to that page. I'll be making memes, doing a bunch of videos on there too, and just being all around awesome. So you should go and like that page. Anyway, let's get started. Let's talk about Halloween Town. The Halloween Town movies was a series of campy, comedy, fantasy, horror movies that aired on the Disney Channel as Disney Channel original movies. Each movie premiered in October from 1998 to 2004. The first Halloween Town premiered on October 7th, 1998. Halloween Town 2, Calabar's Revenge, premiered on October 12th in 2001. And my personal favorite, Halloween Town High, premiered on October 8th, 2004. We're old. For all three movies, the goddess Kimberly J. Brown, the untouchable Debbie Reynolds, and the, hey, isn't that April O'Neil, Judith Hogue, reprise their roles, along with Joey Zimmerman and Emily Rosk. Philip Van Dyke, who played Luke, appeared in the first two movies. I wait all year to see these movies, and I actually just finished watching the first two about five minutes ago. <laughs> They're a part of my childhood, and even though rewatching them as an adult, they are pretty cheesy, they're still amazing. From the idea that a whole town can revolve around Halloween and Halloween creatures to the extremely low budget effects just makes me feel so amazing and alive and nostalgic and I love all three of these movies. Uh, wasn't there four? Get out. Yes, there was a fourth Halloween Town movie that is comparable to Love Never Dies in horrible sequel quality, boom, fan of the opera reference, Halloween. But here to give his thoughts on this movie is my twin brother, Trevor. Take it away, bro. <sighs> okay, here's what I think. Halloween Town for, I don't know the whole title, but <clears throat> it's not good. It's just not good at all. First off, why recast Marnie? And it's just like not even the same feel as like the, the first three, like, and then Darth Vader is Luke's dad? And then Negan kills Glenn and Abraham. Yeah, whatever, Walking Dead fucking fanboys. Well, thanks for that, Trev. Anyway, that's going to be it for me, guys. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe because I give you new videos every single Friday. And remember, nerds rule. Happy Halloween!